वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग हियर इज प्रोफेसर लक्ष्मण मानी दिस इज अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन बेसिक साइक्रोमेट्री इन दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन साइक्रोमेट्री बेसिक टर्म्स एंड डेफिनेशन एंड डेरिवेशन Psycro is a Greek word meaning of its is moist air. Metry is a measurement. So psychrometry means measurement of properties of moist air. So psychrometry is a science which deals with the study of moist air that is dry air mixed with water vapor. Psychrometry is a foundation for air conditioning. which is a treatment or process on the air in order to control its parameter as temperature humidity motion that is velocity and purity of air in the psychrometry there are three types of air dry moist and saturated dry air is a combination of nitrogen oxygen and other gases which includes carbon dioxide hydrogen argon neon helium etc in the atmospheric air there is a 21% oxygen and 78% nitrogen which are the major portion of dry air molecular weight of dry air is taken as 29 approximately and specific gas constant for the dry air is taken as 0.287 in kilojoule per kg kelvin moist air is a mixture of dry air and water vapor suspended in air the amount of water vapor present in the air depends upon the absolute pressure and temperature of air saturated air is mixture of dry air and water vapor when the air has the maximum amount of water vapor in it so it is not possible to add more vapor after the condition of saturated air these are the properties of air which are coming in the psychrometry first three are temperatures dry bulb wet bulb and dew point temperature then specific humidity relative humidity and enthalpy of moist air dry bulb temperature notation for it is used td temperature of air measured by ordinary thermometer wet bulb temperature is a temperature of air measured by thermometer when its bulb is covered with wet cloth exposed to the moving air with velocity 2.5 to 10 meter per second wet bulb depression is the difference between dry bulb and wet bulb temperature dew point temperature is the temperature of air recorded by a thermometer when the water vapor present in its start to condense it dew point depression is the difference between dry bulb and dew point temperature dalton's law partial pressure is required to express different types of pressure in the psychrometry so total pressure exerted by air and water mixture is equal to the barometric pressure of air for the better understanding let us have here mixture of dry air with container a and container b of vapor so these are the parameters volume and temperature for air pressure and for vapor these are the parameters vv tv pv this is a 
volume and temperature of total air so by dalton's law total pressure that is pb means barometric pressure is a summation of partial pressure of dry air and partial pressure of water vapor in this case volume of both container is the same and temperature of air and vapor is the same partial pressure of water vapor can be obtained by using carrier's equation which is written as pv is equal to pw minus pb minus pw into td minus tw divided by 1544 minus 1.44 times tw where pw is the saturation pressure corresponding to wet bulb temperature it is obtained from steam table pb is barometric pressure is pressure of total air td is dry bulb temperature tw is wet bulb temperature in the numerical data is given so we can have here relation that is dry bulb temperature is associated value in the steam table of pressure of air that is saturated air or barometric pressure dew point temperature value in the steam table can be taken value associated with partial pressure of water vapor and wet bulb temperature is a value associated with value of pw in the steam table humidity is the ratio of mass of water vapor to the mass of dry air contained in the sample air means it is a kg per kg ratio of dry air it is also known as specific humidity or humidity ratio let us have mathematical simplification for humidity ratio as w is equal to mass of vapor divided by mass of dry air so this is a final expression what we get for that let us take pv is equal to mrt general gas equation now parameters for this equation we can have for the vapor and for dry air for the vapor these are the suffix at each parameter v and here at each parameter a for dry air then for vapor general gas equation and for dry air taking the ratio of equation 1 and 2 by dalton's law va is equal to vv ta is equal to tv so cancellation of the terms we get mv upon ma is mass of water vapor upon mass of air is equal to w so here we find pv upon pa is equal to w into rv upon ra by arranging the term we find here w is equal to ra divided by rv into pv upon pa by putting the value of gas constant for air and for vapor in the above equation and calculation we get w is equal to 0.622 times ratio of pv to pa by dalton's law pa can be written as pb minus pv so substitute pa in the above equation we find the final expression for specific humidity second kind of humidity is absolute humidity it is volume based so mass of water vapor present in 1 meter cube of dry air thus its unit is gram per meter cube of dry air by using general gas equation by arranging the term m mass of vapor divided by volume that is density of vapor that is rho v which is equal to p upon rt where pv for vapor rv for vapor gas constant so this is what vapor density we call it as vapor density also for the absolute humidity 
by this way we can write formula for rho e that is equal to p a by r a t third category of humidity is relative humidity greek symbol is phi it is the ratio of actual mass of water vapor in a given volume of moist air to the mass of water vapor in the same volume of saturated air at the same temperature and pressure mathematically phi is equal to mv upon ms so here by general gas equation we can have m formula is equal to pv upon rt thus we can write m for v and for s for vapor and for saturated air so this pv upon rt for vapor and this is for saturated air in this case volume temperature and gas constant for vapor and saturated air are same so cancellation of terms we get phi is equal to pv upon ps degree of saturation is the ratio of actual mass of water vapor in the unit mass of dry air to the mass of water vapor in the same mass of dry air when it is saturated at the same temperature it is denoted by letter greek symbol mu means it is it can be written as ratio of specific humidity of moist air in w to specific humidity of saturated air means ws as we know formula for w we can write formula for ws in this case here term for pv will come as ps for saturated air so putting the expression of w and ws in the above equation cancellation we find this then we take pv common from the numerator and ps common from the denominator so here we can have here pb minus ps pb minus pv now in this case here pv upon ps in this pb will be taken outside will get cancel further mu is equal to pv upon ps means phi into bracket 1 minus relative expressions here we can have some arrangement ps upon ps multiplying pv upon pb is phi so arranging this equation and uh, separation of the terms on one side containing phi taking phi common we find relation between relative humidity and degree of saturation finally is the enthalpy of moist air enthalpy of moist air is the sum of that of dry air and vapor in 1 kg of dry air so here we can take help of ts diagram so this is a saturation curve so this is a liquid line this is a vapor line this is a superheated state so at liquid line enthalpy is hf at vapor line enthalpy is hg for saturated air at reference state 0 degree celsius vapor this is a superheated state which is present in the air that is dry so t sup is equal to td so here this enthalpy hf this is the enthalpy of evaporation between hf and hg and this is degree of superheat means cp into delta t so here cp is specific heat of superheated further h is equal to enthalpy of dry air plus enthalpy of water vapor means ma into ha and mv into hv summation now ma we take means mass of dry air 1 kg per kg and w is equal to mv upon ma 
so ma is 1 so w is equal to mv so here mv is equal to w comes so above equation becomes h is equal to h a plus w into h b h a can be written with help of c p delta t c p a into about temperature t d minus saturated air temperature 0 plus w into for h v means enthalpy at vapor line will be equal to uh, enthalpy at superheated vapor that will be equal to enthalpy of vapor line plus CPV into delta T. Further, inside the bracket here, this we take as a 2500 that is enthalpy of vapor plus CPV into TD minus 0. CPV value for water vapor we take 1.88. For dryer, it is 1.005. So putting these values in the above equation, we find final formula which we can use to find the enthalpy of moist air. So at the end of this session, you can explain psychrometry, its basic terms and definitions and derivations. So if you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.